That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. In that last um, chat, uh, chat uh, flipping live stream yesterday, I was talking about um, there's certain people out here, right? They glorify their success more than they need to. Yeah, they will make buying. They will make out that buying a property was so difficult. Oh, I went through all these trials and tribulations. Now maybe someone did and they had to work so hard and make so much sacrifice to get the property but there's certain people where right, they will say well, i can buy a property and make it all so difficult to get this property man i mean man man yeah i mean i really was busting out really they weren't you know to make it seem like they've achieved more than than they have guys it's fucking easy to, to say what well, to, to buy a property yeah just make sacrifice yeah manage your money yeah anything that you don't need yeah that's not a necessity then get rid of it, yeah? That Mercedes, it needs to go, yeah? What's more important? Man, buying a property, having your own place to live, or driving a nice flashy car that can devalue and depreciate every day. Even if it's by about a few pounds or so, yeah? Buying a property, living in your own house is more important, yeah? It's not hard, it's easy, yeah? It's literally just saving up the money, and then going to get the property. Yeah. Like I started the other day in one of them live streams. I think my second live stream. Yeah. If you wanna um if you want someone to tear down a big dream, tell it to a small mind, the saying goes or whatever. Yeah? I had one of my, my electrical man then. Well, he's more like uh like a, well, he's like he's my friend basically, isn't it? I met him as a work colleague, but now he's my friend. Yeah. So my friend Dwayne phoned me up and he was I thought he was phoning me up about some electrical problem or whatever, isn't it? Yeah. But anyway, he's asking me about property development and he wants to fix up properties and stuff like that, whatever, isn't it? He's black, obviously, black brother, Jamaican, yeah, but English born like me, whatever, isn't it? Yeah. He said that he's called up quite a few of his people and they've all said the same thing. Oh, red tape this, red tape that. Yeah, basically telling him that if you get involved in this property game, you're going to be in a world of problems, yeah? It is nothing but trouble and hassle or whatever. And you're basically trying to tell him indirectly or directly, don't do it. But there's hundreds of people who are doing it. Thousands of people in this country doing it. Yeah, so there must be some money in it, right? But they've tried it, they failed, or they haven't even tried it because for one, they probably don't have the money because they have no discipline. They're, they're not able to make no sacrifice, yeah? They ain't willing to 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 to, to um, attempt this thing. So there's a lot of people, right? They don't want to see you become successful. Yeah, they don't want to see you elevate past them, right? As I said, I'm sure it was in the live stream yesterday, the day before that, whatever, or the time before that, right? Everyone's your friend when you're at the same level. Yeah. Oh yeah, we're both at like forty grand a year. Yeah, he earns forty two grand, but yeah, we're at the same level. Yeah, we both live in a a three-bed semi-detached house. Yeah, yeah, he drives a BMW, I drive a Mercedes, and my man over there drives a Jaguar. Yeah, 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 yeah. But hold on. As soon as you start driving that Bentley, as soon as you take five holidays a year, as soon as you start living in a million-pound house and you're earning 200 grand a year, then you'll find out who your friends are. Yeah? So my man, my brother who called man up, telling me about people telling him red tape this, red tape that, it's for a few reasons. Either they have no balls and no guts to start anything themselves, step out of their comforts on themselves, or they're trying to tear down his dream, yeah, or trying to progress. Yeah? You don't want no one like that around you. I'm telling you, yeah. They like it's not even like they're a leech. Because a leech, like they they they're trying to suck from you to gain, yeah. They they they're worse than a leech. They're like just trying to just drag you down for the sake of dragging you down. Yeah, you don't want no one like that around you. And unfortunately, we have parents like that. Yeah. We have parents that will tell us, oh, your 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 idea is stupid. Yeah. You gotta rise above it, man. You gotta rise above it, man. Yeah, I've 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 seen parents tell their children, stop showing off for doing gymnastics splits and and all of that stuff. Yeah. Hold on a minute, this kid is practicing their gymnastic skills. Like, how do you not? This is a serious thing, right? 
there's certain parents, right? They don't want their children to do certain things because they think that the idea is stupid, yeah? That you got fucking, what's my man's name? Lewis Hamilton, right? When he was a child, right? I ain't watched no interviews or nothing like that. But I'm assuming that maybe if he told his mum or dad, I want to be a Formula One driver when I'm when he was five years old, they would tell him, shut up, man. Nah. Go be a banker or a lawyer or get a good job or whatever. Really, yeah? But my man's a multi-millionaire now from being a Formula One driver. Yeah? If that's a man's destiny, yeah, yeah, if that's what someone wants to do, you have to let them do it. Now, I, during the meantime, yeah, Go to school, go learn, yeah? Go read your book, yeah? Because you might fall out of passion, fall out of love with that destiny, that dream, that idea, yeah? So still get an education and stuff because you might change your mind, right? yeah? You might not want to be a race car driver no more, right? but if he had a parent, or like David Beckham's parents said, no, why do you want to be a footballer for what I'm to you, yeah? They wouldn't be the rich, successful people they are now. Little kid. He wants to do the splits in front of people and quote unquote show off. You do not know what's in this that child's crystal ball. They could be the number one gymnast of the UK. They could then use that clout to go and start gymnastic schools and become a millionaire. Right? That little child that you see right might actually be a star. Yeah. Someone's someone's got to be a star. Someone's got to be a millionaire. So it can happen to any of us. Yeah? And you got selfish parents out here who will try and hold their children back. I made a video about this. You know I me, mean? I make a video about everything. Yeah? I'm sure I made a video about the sun. Yeah? <laughs> a guy called Felipe, I remember he left a comment, right? He said that his dad, no, his mum never wanted him to play soccer. Yeah? He, I don't know if his name's Felipe, he might be Brazilian or something like that, right? He might have been the next fucking Rubinho, yeah, or Ronaldo or one of them. You, you never know, yeah. But his mum stole that dream from him, yeah, held him back. That's the worst thing you can do, man. Yeah. My child, yeah, if he came to me and said he want to be a YouTuber, I'd say, well, if you want to be a YouTuber, personally, I don't want my son, I don't want my child to aspire to be a YouTuber, but simply because it's a fucking website, yeah? You can't base your whole success off a fucking website. What if they go and shut the website down, yeah? But if they wanted to be a social media influencer or they wanted to be someone to, you know, help change people's mindset and change the world or whatever, in it, yeah, that's cool. But at the same time, you're still going to pursue yeah, an education or whatever, in it, yeah? Because you might fall out of love with that, yeah? But... Yeah, I wouldn't want my child to grow up to be a YouTuber or whatever. Really. Now, I'm doing it, but that's because I kind of just fell into it, whatever. Really, you know? And at the end of the day, right, I'm looking to be more than just a YouTuber anyway. You know, like, obviously, my dream is to want to um, have my own TV show, like a bit like Jeremy Carl, because you know? I think solving problems is easy. You know? And I'll, I'll do what Steve Harvey does. I don't know if you don't know, Steve Harvey has a show on that. And... A lot of the times, like at the beginning of the show, or whatever, and it, he's giving like a motivational speech or whatever. And it, so I just fling that in every now and then or whatever. And it, a bit like what I'm doing on his live stream, isn't it? Yeah. 